So Jay Sundance here from Sundance Studio Recordings and have I got something very, very special to show you today. Um, I'm very fortunate to be a beta tester for Sonable and Sonable have given me exclusive permission to be able to talk about their brand new plugin which is coming out at the end of this month and that is the Smart DS. And I'm telling you now, for DSing, this is a game changer, big game changer. Um, I've had it now, I've been on the third version of it now, checking it through. I've spoken to Alexander, he said it's fine for me to talk about it because the teaser trailers are already out there anyway. And so uh, I can now reveal to you what this plugin is going to do for DSing. So jump in the door with me and let me show you how this thing works. Right guys, welcome. Here we are inside Cubase Pro 12 and here we are with Smart uh, DS, Sonable's new and uh, exciting plugin for the future of DSing and the plugin is completely resizable so you can draw it right out to this back down to where you need to and of course we have Sonable's famous green little button to do its smart analyzing so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to play the vocal that I've got that's been recorded here in the studio by a singer I've got uh, a main and two doubles and that's all going to one single vocal bus and I'm going to get uh, the DS, Smart DS, to analyze the entire uh, vocal mix. So we'll watch it in action. The gold that's holding all of the answers that you already knew. You just didn't see it before, but now your eyes are open wide. So I think you can hear uh, there's an awful lot of S's and sibilances going on there with that. So I'll play that back and then we'll go through the plugin itself and what it's actually doing in a moment or two. So we'll play with without it and then I'll turn it back on and you can hear the difference with it back on. So off first. The gold that's holding all of the answers. So the girl, that's, the girl that's holding all of the answers, sir, sir, sir. so we could hear all that's going on. So let's turn it on and see what it sounds like now. The gold that's holding all of the answers. So as you can hear, much, much more controlled. You can also see the spectral shaping going by and you can hear absolutely how much better that is and that's this is the AI it typically always puts it to 50% uh, suppression but if I loop this particular area and then we'll, we, we will hear that as I increase the suppression and what it actually does all of the answers 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 so we'll check out the delta on the sibilant and you'll hear the massive difference And back off. All of the answers. All of the answers. The controls on this plugin are absolutely phenomenal. Um, we've got the same thing with the plosives. Let's have a listen to the delta. So the plosives are coloured uh, by default and in blue whereas the sibilances are coloured in green. So you can see what's going on uh, in the window above. So let's open this back up a little bit more, give us some more vocals to play with for a second. That you already knew You're that's holding all of the answers that you already knew you just didn't see it before so as you can hear this was a very um, sibilant uh, vocal and the control that smart ds has over this is incredible now i'm an average producer i'm not one of the top level boys by any means but i'm telling you now this ai 
and the, the, the user interface on this is so simple and so easy to use. You've got your sibilant suppression control here, you've got the shaping, you can give it soft, balanced or sharp colour and the plosives are exactly the same. You can get it to react slow, mid or fast. You have um, your gain reduction meter here and at the top on the right hand side is your spectral shaping and this panel shows the frequency dependent filtering of the sibilants and the plosives. Uh, the output section down here, of course you've got, you can monitor the output level, uh, RMS and peak meter, uh, set an output gain and control the mix between the processed wet and unprocessed signal. Um, over here of course the spectrum, uh, spectrogram, uh, the spectrogram will show uh, the frequency spectrum of the input signal and uh, the input and output signal and gain reduction is in this window down below. Now the button up here to reanalyze the voice, uh, if we went to, um, we can do, do up to eight different states up here. So we went to three, you can reanalyze it again and you simply press the analyze button as we've already seen. And the states, uh, so you've got up to eight different states. All right, so this is phenomenal as far as I'm concerned this plugin is absolutely phenomenal the difference is that you can hear is mind-blowing and I normally use uh, fab filter and that's my normal go-to uh, deessa and I don't think I'll be using that anymore this is just so much easier to use now at the top of the plugin you'll see mode you've got split band or you've got full range so this is the processing mode. In full range mode, the whole spectrum is processed, whereas in split band mode, only the chosen frequency ranges are spectrally processed. And you can change those, but if you go into split mode here, you, you can adjust from where it starts to where it ends in the spectrum frequency ranges. And the same for the plosives. So again, we can swap, uh, we can move this around to where we feel we want it to actually uh, start to spectrally sidechain. Here again we've got the delta um, which will show the differences between the input and the output signal and I think this is just superb. Generally speaking I think it would probably be better to stay in full range which is most situations it's recommended to use um, uh, which they say typically uh, generates the most uh, natural results. The split band, um, in split band mode, the process in ranges uh, for sibilants and plosives and can be limited to a specific frequency range. So um, there you go. It's, this is, uh, uh, I, as far as I'm concerned, there's no more messing around. Everything here is so simple to use. The user interface with Sonable is just brilliant. There's, there's nothing here, there's no other extra little things hidden away. It's all, it's just here and you can adjust it accordingly and get the character and the color that you need. So that Smart DS is out at the end of the month. You guys know what to do. So there you go, that's Sonable's ds -er. And uh, you have to agree, right? I mean, it's a bit of a game changer. I mean, how easy is that to use? The user interface, the way you can shape everything, the way you can alter the coloration, uh, fantastic. So it'll be out at the end of this month. Go and get it, download the demo, check it out. Anyway, this is Jay Sundance from Sundance Studio Recordings. Until next time, see you soon. Ciao.